Whew. Welcome back to another video. This is Draft Champion 16. Back with more drafts. We're going to do both of the drafts. Solo doesn't matter as much. But who cares? Because it's still fun, damn it. Uh, wait, the Patriots are a 3 4 now? Are you serious? I had no clue, honestly. Um, I think I'm going to go Panthers here. I should have probably went with a 3 4. Um, I honestly didn't know the Patriots did that. Let me know what you guys would take. Holy crap, how can you pass on Le'Veon Bell? Ugh. I know how you can pass on him because they're going to give us a really good running back later on. But um, let's not try to take too long since this is the solo draft after all. Um, my prediction still... Wait, what do we go? We went 4-3, so... Wow! Hankins is that good? I might have to get his mud card. Holy crap, he's good. Um, so are the Patriots just doing what normal teams would do is just put their DNs at outside linebacker? Wow, so we have another, well, I guess Mike Daniels is kind of a hybrid. Um, he plays a 3-4, obviously, because I'm a Packer fan, and I know that. But he, he has a lot of speed, but Jordan Cameron, <clears throat> I'll show you guys all the stats, too, so you guys can play along. Um, that's what I like to watch when I, if I watch videos, which I do watch some draft champions from here to there. Probably going Alex Mack here, just a heads up. Mark Ingram, not really needed, but in case you didn't go running back like I did. Um, it's kind of a toss-up. You know, we'll actually take the left tackle there. Um, Alex Mack is probably a little better, but tackles are a little more important, I think. Wow, Charles Woodson, I know he's slow, but man, he's got skills. I think we're going to go Charles. Now, if this was an online, if this was our online draft, I'd probably go Leary. Um, but, you know, it's not, so, okay. There's another one. If I was online draft, I would debate Matt Ryan just because you want to get a quarterback. Since it's offline draft, we could literally win it with a punter, so we'll take AJ Green. Hoping for, okay, so there's a flashback pick here. Ted Ginn Jr. Okay, okay. He's got some stats on him. He's mostly just speed. Jimmy Graham, we already have a tight end. Left tackle is not useful. So let's go with the fun pick and the cool one. It's actually pretty good. I think I would probably take him with my online pick here too. Um, Junior Gallette might play left end for us. This would be a really bad draft in my opinion. Like If this was our online one, I'd be a little worried. Um, personally, I don't like to draft two really good wideouts. I like to just have one just to scare the person and then throw underneath with the rest. Ooh, this one's tough. This one's tough. I love Alteron Werner, but we don't have a pass rusher on the D-line yet other than Hankins. This is actually one of the toughest picks, I would say, honestly. Um, let's go with what we would go with online, which is Werner, because we have Charles Woodson. Um, okay, so Cam Newton. I'm not a Cam fan, but at this point, you're pretty much forced to take Cam. Showing you guys the rest. Cam probably get a legend quarterback which I don't think I've ever even got one Tony Romo okay so this forces us with Jason Peters I would think um, but once again let me know what you guys would have taken it sucks there's gonna be a delay between drafts as you can only draft a certain amount of time here we're taking Dunlap for sure um, not even a question um, Norman's good too. He'd be the second option, but James Harrison isn't that good. So they kind of skimped down on elites for us, honestly. Can't really lie. Uh, so Vernon or Dwayne. We don't need that many wideouts, so we're going to take Vernon. Um, Lane Johnson's pretty good. We probably should have went center instead of Staley earlier, but what can you do? Yeah, I'd be really mad with this draft. I mean, look, what, look what's happening here. Um, Vernon can play wideout, so we're actually going to do that. We're going to put Vernon in the slot. And our legend round is... Wow, I would be furious. This is one of the worst drafts I've ever had. Luckily, it's our offline. Um, since I've never used him, I'm actually just going to go Huntingham and just you know have Cam on the back. But uh, I guess I'll be right back since... I'll show you guys, but... Um, you guys should probably know by now, or if you don't, you know, that's cool too. Um, that you actually have to wait in between drafts. I think it's like 15 to 20 minutes. I don't know why, personally. I'm not really sure. 
Um, considering if it's an, I mean, we have two drafts ready. Why can't we draft two? And I understand. Like, I think you can actually cheat the st the system by um, force quitting the game. Which, if it came to it, as sleazy as it is, I think I would do it online if we got a really bad draft. Like the one we got here, you know, it's bad, but it's not the worst possible. I debate doing it if that even works. I don't know if it does, but I think the thing that I would do is if I got like double up on linemen because tight ends you know you could always use extra tight ends you can always throw them anywhere on the field but extra linemen oh it's terrible but anyways we'll be right back uh as we are gonna have to wait a little bit okay guys so we're back uh we have like a minute left but um since i'm so terrible at outros i'm gonna mention some of the things so then i don't have to go forever on them um i'm also gonna be getting mba uh when the new 2K16 comes out. So if you like that game, uh, okay, we have the draft here. If you like that game, stick around, or if you just like this game, stick around. Um, also suggest what games I should play. Um, okay, so this is a lot easier decision. Um, it is all 3-4, but we'll take Chip Kelly because he gives us a lot of options. So uh, here we go, please be an elite round. Okay, okay. So, oh, we're doing a 3-4, though, aren't we? Marcel Darius is too good to pass. <gasps> He's too good. But Junior Galette is pretty damn good, too. As usual, I'm going to show you guys all the players so you can see for yourself what you would have taken. I'm personally going to take Darius because he can play left end or right end if I have to. That worked for us last season. Doesn't look good already. It looks like an offensive lineman draft. Um, I don't know who you guys would take. David Stewart is really bad at run block. Kobe Fleener is pretty damn good as a tight end. Um, what's his catching? Yeah, he's pretty good. I don't know. It's a tough one to pass on, but we're going to take Cordy Glenn. I'm assuming we're going to get some better tight ends later on. Oh, okay. Anthony Sherman. I... Uh, hmm... Fullbacks aren't important to me. Like, they just aren't. So we're going to go Rick Wagner. Anthony Sherman's a hell of a fullback, but they're just not important to me. Okay, so Mike DeVito would finish the D line, assuming we put Darius at left end. Raheem Moore is pretty damn good at safety. Brandon Marshall's really good as a linebacker, though. Wow, I didn't even notice he was actually that good. Mike DeVito, what is his stats? Ugh. Yeah, we're going to take uh, Brandon Marshall. B. Marsh. Hopefully we get the wide receiver, Marshall. Oh, Byron Maxwell. That's my dude. Uh, Brandon Spikes, way too slow, but he's got great hit power. Probably force a few fumbles. Robert Mathis doesn't look like he's cutting it, and I love Byron Maxwell. Ignore that 53 catch. It doesn't mean anything. Please give us some elite rounds. It's been a while. Are you serious? Ooh, this one's a tough one. Jordan Cameron. Jonathan Stewart or Kelvin Benjamin. It's definitely Cameron or Benjamin for me. I've been really familiar with Jordan Cameron, but Kelvin Benjamin's done some things for me. Okay, so no more, no elites, but these guys, other than Lance Briggs, these guys are almost just as good as elites. I love Michael Kendrick, so I'm going to have to take him. Um, you do need two middle linebackers and a 3-4. Plus, he actually isn't half bad at outside. Okay, so here we're looking at probably Sharif Floyd playing two defensive tackles at DNs, which is all right. That's all right. Perfect would be perfect for a 4-3. Um, Rashawn is a little too uh, short for us. They better start giving us some elites. This is really starting to get sad. Thank you. Um, not even really an elite round, just an elite. I love Greg Olson, so we're almost certain to take him. Randall Cobb's an option. Um, man, this is tough, actually. Randall Cobb. I love Randall Cobb. We're going to have to take Greg Olson. There need to be like five, six more elite rounds like in a row. Man, this is sad. This draft is terrible. Um, I feel really good about not taking Randall Cobb because Eddie Royal is kind of like a poor man's Randall Cobb. But I think we probably are going to take Kareem since we do run a lot of zone coverage. Um, so yeah, we're going to take Kareem. It's really tough not to take Eddie Royal there, but thank you. Thank you. 
Woo! Okay. Okay. This is a tough one, Chris Johnson. Oh, God. This is tough. This is really freaking tough. Chris Johnson. How can you pass on Chris, though? Antro roll. Need three corners. You can finish it. Six foot. Chris Johnson. Don't think you're gonna get much better than Chris Johnson, but you're sure as hell not getting better than Andrew Roll. You know our offense is lacking. We have to take Chris just in case we get stuck with Sanchez. Um, damn, that was a good round. Okay, another elite round. It's only fair as we continue to get crappy rounds. Before we're looking at T.Y. Hilton, and I'm really glad we didn't take Randall Cobb. Um. Thomas Davis doesn't fit the scheme, bud, and we already have two middles. So T.Y. Hilton it is. Please be three more elite rounds. We need a quarterback. Ooh, okay, Bruce Irvin could play outside linebacker. He definitely has the skill to do it, so we're going to definitely pick him up. Patrick Chong, not too bad. K.J. Wright, extremely good for coverage. Don't need him. Uh, wait, did we take a 3-4? Oh, yeah, the Bears were in there, so 3-4. Please be a quarterback. We are in desperate need. <laughs> okay, I mean, is it comeback RG? Is it Robert Griffin the comeback? Um, I've just shown you guys the stats. Obviously, I'm taking RG. We have to. Still not out of a quarterback here. If there's a legend we like. Th yes. Okay, this is what I was expecting to happen. But now that I think about it, maybe I did go the wrong choice. I didn't expect a running back, but I was almost a thousand percent sure Ty Law was going to be here. So what do we have on the team? Bruce Irvin. So they did. This isn't nowhere near the best draft I've ever had at all. Like this, this draft was kind of bad, but it's not that bad either. So Steve Hutchinson out. But if you guys would love to have taken him, there you go. The stats. Terrell Davis. If we could go back, I would have definitely taken uh, Roll. I think it was Roll, right? Antrell? Was it Antrell Corner Edition or no? I don't I don't remember who it was. Terrell Davis over Chris Johnson, and then we could have had Roll instead of uh, Chris. I don't know why I keep saying the same name. But obviously, we are going to take Ty Law here. Great pickup. So that's the team. Looks really good. Few positions are lacking, but yeah, that's a really low overall actually. Um, I think it could have been worse, personally. Um, we're gonna have to go through the lineup, obviously. RG three, it's so low. We definitely got screwed. Like it's without a doubt, the the draft was not good. But we did make the right decisions, in my opinion. I don't think we made a single bad decision, other than the Chris Johnson one. But to each their own. Ty Law is just as good. So, And Chris Johnson's a really fast guy. So to each their own. Um, but we have some lineup changes. And then uh, we'll end the video with the actual lineup. Damn, dude ain't got no catching.
One, two, three. Okay, guys, so the lineup is finished. We actually jumped to an 80 overall after changing the lineup. Who would have thought? Um, so we have both tackles, which are some of the most important positions in the game, um, especially offensive linemen. Um, they did not really give us good silvers, other than this Latimer guy. This guy's actually not half bad. Well, on paper, of course, he's probably not nearly as good in game like if you look at those stats he should not be a 72 he should be like a 77 or a 78 um those are insane stats other than route running probably is really low release um ty hilton at the one kelvin at the two i might switch that around we'll find out rg3 worries the crap out of me i think we have sanchez even though i don't think anyone in their whole life have said that ty at the one they had maxwell at two or at three and kareem at uh two which is really stupid um, Floyd drops three to right end and Darius drops four to left end. Let's actually see. Do they? Okay, so you'd go one up. Would Sharif go one down? Oh, so that's something to think about. Um, can we just switch them? Please tell me you can. Oh, that's so stupid. I'll switch it behind the scenes. Um, Michael Kendricks, that's another debate. He could go to outside linebacker. He actually has... Um, I think like 88 finesse or something like that. But, I mean, for now it looks all right. Cardi Rambo, Michael Huff, always making plays for me. I'm, I'm glad when I see his name in the silvers. Um, they, we, this time we didn't get Blair Walsh. We got a really lower kicker, um, 89 kick power this time, which is a huge drop. Chris Johnson at punt returner. I would put him at starting kick returner, but honestly, Chris Johnson flashback is going to have to make some plays for us. What is his full stats? Damn good of a player. Some, some really good stats. Shouldn't fumble for us. Should be able to get us a lot of games. I'm hoping to at least pump out 80 yards per game with him. Rushing and receiving combined, of course. Um, but that's the team. Let me know what you guys think. I think we honestly got screwed on both of our drafts. Not even going to lie. Um, that one was really bad. Luckily, it kind of got better in the latter part of it. Um, I think we, should, we deserved at least one more elite or two. Actually, let's go back in. How many elites did we end up with? My guess is like six only. Like not a lot. Chris, okay, two, three, four, four, six. Yeah, six elites only. Like that's not bad, don't get me wrong. But I mean, you got to remember some of these elites were actually like the only elite. Like Ricky Wagner was with Anthony Sherman. Greg Olson, I think, was with 284 overall players. Like, you know, some of these guys were barely even an elite round. Like, you only had the option to take the really good guy. But anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to make it? RG3 is definitely worse than I think it was Russell Wilson. But I think we can still do it. We'll find out soon enough. Um, thanks for watching. And like I said, if, you're, if you like NBA, that game is coming out in a few weeks. So that will also be content that will be posted on this channel. And also uh, Draft Champions and Mutt. Um, anything else you guys want to see, just recommend it in the comment section. Also let me know what you drafted and how you thought our draft was. Thanks. See ya. Subscribe. Don't do it. I don't care. Just kidding. I love you guys. Bye.